Jimmy Dixon monologues to be a serious actor, uh, number five, I think. Uh, yeah, this one here, I was doing the, um, Field of Dreams monologue by James Earl Jones there, um, where he goes, uh, Ray, uh, people will come, Ray. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I was really prepared for it. Uh, I spent, like, I don't know, maybe a month, um, learning all the, the words. I ran it through my head a bunch of times, um, and even today, I, I, I did it at least a dozen, I swear, um, but yeah, I noticed when I did some recording, um, some things was happening, there's a lot of trucks, uh, mosquitoes was really getting to me, um, but I, I, I tried to persevere, I did persevere actually, pretty damn proud of myself, it was a little choppy, a little longer than most, um, damn, even this got too long, uh, but yeah, so that's it. Um, I don't feel I might as well give a what's it called? A prequel? 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 Prelude? Prequel? Pre? Pre-game? Well, I'm just setting it up because it's kind of good, but I mean, I kind of go off on tangents. Okay. Bye. Hey Ray. I think people are going to start showing up soon. I want to get the balloons out. I mean, I put on the flyers that there's going to be some barbecue. I ain't even getting no meats. I ain't got nothing to put on the grill. I don't even know if we got a grill here, Ray. But I put that on the flyer and I put my name on the flyer. So I think some people are going to be expecting some barbecue. I see some headlights coming up over the hill, Ray. Damn, you got anything in your freezer we could thaw real quickly? Hey, Ray. I think there's going to be some people here showing up soon. They're going to come out here to Iowa? For reasons I can't even fathom. Going to show up here? Pull into your driveway? I'm not sure if you want all that weight on your driveway. Trust me, you get some cracks on that asphalt. You let that linger two, three decades, whew, becomes a headache. Uh, so, but they're, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, oh, shit, what's the next line? They're gonna arrive at your door. <sighs> Hopefully not on drugs, but like some children that was longing for the past time, uh, dreams. Oh, shit, I'm botching this one. Uh, oh, 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 and you're gonna say, you're gonna say, you're gonna say, uh, oh, of course. We don't care if you snoop around a little bit, you know. Come on in. It's only 20, uh, 30, 35 bucks a hit, 40 with parking. And they're gonna pass over their money, Ray, without even thinking about it because they got a lot of money. And it ain't about the money that they care about, it's about the happiness and the peace which they ain't got, but they'll get it here at the baseball field with the ghosts out there playing. And they'll walk off to the bleachers in their short sleeves on a perfect afternoon. They finally got reserved seats somewhere along the baseline. Well, hey, hey, hey now, Ray. People will come. God damn. Fuck, that was a good intro, too. Damn, that sounded smooth. I said, hey, hey, Ray. Hey, hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. <laughs> oh, shit! God damn it! Oh, that's my L7 again. God damn it. Oh, I just got back from the podiatrist. God damn it. She's hanging upside down for nine hours. Oh, damn, I'm gonna have a damn robotic stiff neck for this. Spent a month memorizing these words. Got the right outfit from Goodwill, the shirt, the hat, everything. Oh, and I just damn strained my fucking neck. <sighs> All right, god damn it. Fall into character. <sighs> god damn it, Ray. Ah, damn it. Okay. <sighs> right. Mm. People are gonna get here pretty soon, Ray. So you better get the damn barbecue on. <sighs> They're gonna come here. 
to Iowa. God damn it, tractor trailers every time. I tell you, thinking about moving out of Iowa. Now Nebraska, I heard that's the place to be. Taxes, you barely pay anything. All right, where are we? Ray, people are gonna start showing up soon, Ray, so fire up the grill. All right, they're gonna come here to Iowa City for reasons. God damn it, now there's a dog for reasons I can't even fathom. They're gonna show up here, god damn it. Pull into your driveway, probably crack it all to hell. Ray. God damn Ray. People are gonna start showing up pretty soon. I got balloons tied to the mailbox. Ah, something just bit me in the back. Damn it, seats falling apart. I don't want my wallet slide through the cracks. The possums out here at night, raccoons, skunks, who knows? End up in one of their dens. I only got nine bucks in there, but I keep my social security card in there. Now they just arrived here in Iowa City for reasons I can't even fathom. God damn it, another tractor trailer. You have got to be shitting me. God damn it, all right. I'm gonna just go with the flow here. I'm getting eaten up by all these damn mosquitoes. Hope they ain't carrying nothing. You never know. Probably get eaten up today, then go turn on the 11 o'clock news and it says, Oh, Jesus, make sure you ain't get eaten up by mosquitoes today, because if you did, we're going to let you know at 3 in the morning what you most likely probably have and why you'll be down and out of work for the next month. But be more like longing, like little children looking for the past uh, time when um, the people was playing baseball and they were happy and all that stuff, you know? Oh, damn, what's the next line? Oh, oh, that's what it was. Of course. We don't mind if y'all come in and snoop around. It's only... $35 a head? $40 with parking. $40 a head. My buddy Jimmy's gonna throw him some barbecue, so we might round it up to $47, $48. I mean... Game under the lights. It cost some money to run them generators. I just had to get the new one since Jenny died. All right, it's gonna be 60 bucks a head. Fair deal, fair deal. Under the lights, we got some barbecue. There's balloons at the end of the driveway. These are ghosts from the past. Um, that like, you know, they're baseball cards, man. You could buy a house with them if you had them right now. <sighs> Trade them in. Uh. Damn, I'm trailing. Come back, Jimmy. Come back, Jimmy. Oh, and they're gonna pass over there. Oh, okay, so we settled at $60 a head. And they'll pass over their money without even thinking about it because they're loaded and, you know, that's why they're here. It's not because all the money, they don't care about the money. They're here because they want the pastime and the memories and feel joy and be the experience, you know? So they ain't gonna care about that uh, 60 we said or 65. That's 70 bucks. And they're going to walk off to the bleachers in their shirt sleeves. That's why I'm wearing them. Went out the Goodwill to get it. <sighs> On a perfect sunny afternoon. God damn it, it is sunny. <sighs> I finally got reserved seats somewhere along the baseline where they sat when they was children. Damn. And cheered their heroes. And they'll watch the game. Busting my ass. God damn, the camera went down. This damn ankle. God damn. It's a goddamn debacle. Come on. I got the damn gorilla pie with the legs. I can't get it fitted right. Ray, people are gonna come here soon. They're gonna show up in your driveway, rip it to shit, walk up to your door, ring the doorbell. They're gonna be high. I know they're gonna be high. Trust me. Nebraska, I think they just legalized it. But they're gonna show up there like children longing for the past, and they're gonna wanna see a goddamn game, Ray. 
I already set on the flyers. We settled on 70 bucks. They're going to come here. They're going to do all that. They're going to give you their money because they don't care. They got a lot of money. We already talked about this. They live a different kind of life than we do. But, um, then they're going to walk off. Well, they're going to walk off to the bleachers. That's where we fall back into character. And they walk off to the bleachers. And they walk off to the bleachers. In their shirt sleeves. Oh, damn, I need to adjust that. I gotta readjust the man. Get up there, he ain't even see me. All you see is my shirt sleeves. Oh, God damn it. I'm not getting worse at this. I'm making these damn videos now for two years. You think I'm damn Benjamin Button cinematographer? I'm getting worse, progressing. All right. They're gonna walk off in their shirt sleeves, Ray. Ah, oh, damn it, Jimmy. They're gonna walk off in their shirt sleeves, shirt sleeves, shirt sleeves, shirt sleeves. All right, shirt sleeves. Ray. Now people are gonna start showing up here soon, Ray. Hope you're prepared. They're gonna drive on the driveway like we already talked about it. They're gonna rip it to shit. I know it. I know they're gonna rip it to shit. They're gonna end up probably. Pissing all over your lawn, I know it. Even if you get a porta shitter, <laughs> these people ain't got no respect. Coming out here to Iowa, from <sighs> and they walk off to the bleachers in their shirt sleeves on a perfect sunny afternoon. And they walk off to the bleachers in their shirt sleeves on a perfect sunny afternoon. Finally got reserved seats somewhere along the damn baseline where they sat and they was little squirts and watched the damn game. And they cheered on the players they liked better than the other ones. Another goddamn trailer right at a right at a very pivotal point here where I was supposed to talk about how they'd get dipped in magic waters and the memories would be so damn thick they'll have to wipe them away for them faces. And they'll watch the game. And it'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters, Ray. Memories will be so goddamn thick it'll be like sap running down their faces. They're gonna have to get some moist towelettes. What the hell we got up there? Cicadas? Dipped in magic waters. Memories are gonna be so thick, Ray. God damn it. It's a motorcycle. I mean, it's not nice down. I mean, motorcycle's cool. Oh, damn, he looked cool too. Damn. Look a lot cooler than me. Alright. Damn, hat back up. Me inside? Not today, bud. Mr. Cy Young, ain't seen you in a minute. Oh, well, Jimmy Dixon's up to bat. We got runners on all the bases. They're leaking juice like some overripened tomatoes. Cy Young, Jimmy Dixon, bottom of the ninth. Game seven. Oh, Cy Young, he's thinking he's gonna come inside on old Jimmy Dixon, brush him up. Oh! He ain't scared. He ain't scared, Mr. Dixon. In fact, Mr. Dixon's gonna choke up on the bat. He's on down, Mr. Cy Young. He's got Babe Ruth on first. He's got his pal Mickey Mantle leading off second. And old Joe and Joel DiMaggio three meters off third. Cy Young, he shakes off the pitch. He looks it down. He gets in his long 1907 windup. Jimmy Dixon, he's just watching in amazement with all that movement and them baggy ass pants. And the ball come in, he throws Dixon. Like I said, they watch that damn game. And it'll be as if they dip themselves in some magic waters. Memories will be so thick, they'll have to brush them away from their faces.
People will come, Ray. People will come, Ray. One constant throughout all the damn years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled on like an army of steamboats. It's been a race like one of them etch a skits rewritten and erased again. But baseball has marked the time, Ray. See, I was going to shoot this at a field. I mean, I went out there and everything. There was about seven, eight middle schoolers out there playing baseball. They looked pretty big, you know. I ain't want to start no trouble with them. So I kind of just mind my own business, got back in my car, drove back here. That's why there ain't no field behind me. But there will be. See, what I did is I'm going to have to go green screen the rest of it. So all that in the back, it just disappears. And then I'm going to go get me one of them screen savers of a ball field. So it looks like um, I got a ball field behind me. It's like Toronto Blue Jays might go with the Sky Dome. Have a little Astro Turf behind me. Hard Rock Cafe back there. I always love that Hard Rock Cafe. And the, um, so this field, this game, it's part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good and could be again. Oh, people will come, Ray. Because I put on a flyer, there'd be some barbecue. So people, they're most definitely going to come. They're going to be hungry. I do no shopping. I just did the flyers like you told me to do. I wrote a bunch of stuff down there. I got it for 70 bucks a head, but I ain't doing no shopping. But, uh, it's, it's, so they're going to hand over their money. So it's going to be like, sure, y'all come in. Be like, sure, of course, y'all can come in. Snoop around if you want. <laughs> It's gonna cost, god damn right my ear, it's gonna cost you. Well now, let's see. It's a night game. Gonna have the lights on. I'm gonna have to run that off the Jenny. Had to get a new Jenny because the old Jenny died. I mean, running the wilders back and forth. Might serve a little bit of barbecue parking and everything. I mean, outside. Poor shitter. I mean, that's gonna. I mean, that don't clean itself for free. <sighs> All right, so it's gonna be like 70, 75 bucks a head. Is that too much? <sighs> and they'll pass over their money, Ray, without even thinking about it. Might be able to get them for 80. Because they got so much money, and they don't care about the money, really. It's all about the you know, the hunt to get it and how you get it and just the idea of thinking that you got it and you got, you know, um, lots, kind of like a game or something like that, you build it up, whatever. But they don't want that money anymore. They don't, well, I mean, they want the money. They want to keep the money. But what they really are after is a peace of mind. And they're going to come here. They're going to spend that 90 bucks here, right, to get that peace of mind to go watch them fellers out there, them old dead baseball players. God rest their souls. I'm so happy they showed up. I mean, God, I was just praying for a miracle here soon. Because I'm three months behind on the mortgage, Ray. But they're going to come here and watch these old ghost men play baseball. Hall of Famers, man. Hall of Famers, Ray. I'm talking. Damn, Ray. We could have farms all over the place. Kind of build a monopoly of farms. Get a name patent on them. Pump out milk. I mean, we could stomp out all the competition. Just have our own private sector. I mean, just food for thought. But they're going to pass their money over, Ray, because they want to see them old dead baseball players throw the ball around a little bit. Maybe see if they can hit one in the cornfield. But, uh, yeah, so you got the money. So after they give you that 100 bucks, they're going to walk off to them bleachers in their short sleeves. I said it already, so I got the shirt from Goodwill. On a perfect sunny afternoon, Started shooting this six hours ago. The sun was coming in here. It was a nice shot. Now it just look flat and dull. But they're going to walk off and find they got reserved See, I ain't swinging the bat again. Trust me. I already hit the damn chair a couple times. But they're going to find they got some reserved seats somewhere along the baseline. Where they sat when they was little children, Ray. And they watched the game. And they cheered their heroes. God 
damn it, another truck right when I'm at the beach. Put my hat back on, pretend none of that happened. They're going to walk and they're going to find they got themselves some reserve seats along the baseline. Because they threw in an extra 20, Ray, to get them seats. That's the VIP section they're sitting in. And they're going to watch the game like they did, Ray, when they was little children. Like when you was a little child. I was a little child, when, you know. Well, I mean, I guess everybody's kind of always a little child at some point in their life, but not always, because if they was always a child, they would never get old. Go back, go back, rewind, rewind. They're going to sit there, Ray, on their hands and keep their damn mouth shut and watch the game, just like when they was children, and they cheered their hero silently in their head because their parents were a little bit strict and ain't want them screaming by them because they had some hearing problems, and they was always a little fidgety with their hands, so she make them sit on their hands. <sighs> And it'll be, Ray, like they dip themselves in some magic waters. Nice and easy. Memories will be so thick, Ray, they're going to have to brush them away from their faces. Oh, people will come, Ray. 120 books ahead. 130, 35. God damn, that's Lake Tahoe money. I mean, we could get three game series is going, Ray. I'm talking put up some shacks. Like nice shacks, though. Oh, bungalows. We'll put up some bungalows in the back. People can set up camp here. Three game series, seven game series. I mean, there's 162 games in the series. Since you got the only field in town, though, I guess they all be here. I mean, I could pull my camp around back. Keep an eye on things. Run security. I mean, shit. I just run me a cord from the side of the house right to the camper. Ain't gonna suck much electricity out. That's Lake Tahoe money, Ray. I mean, my buddy Christian, he wants a spot in Lake Tahoe. I promise him we get him one. I mean, you know. What do you say, Ray? Partners? 70-40? Oh! Ray. No, it's $60 a head. We settled on 60. Ray, Ray went in the house. I know, listen, no, Ray went in the house, but before he went in the house, he said we settled on 120 a seat. No, 120 a seat. No, no, not 70. He specifically told me to tell you 120 a seat. We threw in the parking already. You got, you got, I mean, he's, Getting some hot dogs on the, he's boring the damn hot dogs right now. Heating up the buns. We settled on one twenty. Oh, you got kids? You got kids too? What you got, one, two, three kids are trying to sneak in there? <sighs> oh, who's taking advantage of who now, huh? Ray, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes, man. I can't do this much longer. Hey, Ray. People will come, Ray. They're gonna come here. Tawa. For reasons I can't even fathom. They're gonna pull in your driveway. Probably crack it to shit. For reasons they can't even fathom. Again, either. For reasons unknown. They don't even know when they're gonna walk up to your door. Probably high on Reefer. Ring your damn doorbell. That's all he's gonna be ringing. Look me someone at your goddamn door ringing your doorbell. <sighs> I lose my shit. And they'll watch the game. And it'll be like they dipped themselves in some magic water. Memory <coughs> Mem <coughs> memories be so thick. <coughs> oh god damn it. <sighs> Stay with me. Come on, damn it. Son of a bitch. Like I said, take it from the top. Got the mosquitoes out here. They're gonna find a spot to sit. 
somewhere along the baseline. They're going to pull a blanket out, they're going to sit on the damn grass, on their hands, and be quiet, and watch the game like they was children, because ain't nobody going to be children. It's going to be quiet game, quiet time. Lights are going to be on, there's going to be goddamn bugs swarming everywhere. Now they're going to sit there, and they're going to watch the game, like they did, shut up, like they did when they was little children. And they're going to cheer the people they liked more than the other people that were out there playing the game. Home run hitters. And they're going to cheer them on. And they're going to watch the game once again, because I already said it, like little children. And they'll be like they dip themselves in some magic water. Memories will be so damn thick, they're going to have to wipe them away like windshield wipers when you go through Iowa because goddamn bugs smushing on your windshield wiper. If you've never driven through Iowa, trust me, you're going to need at least three of them gallon jugs of some rain -X. Go with the rain -X. Don't get the cheap shit. Go with the rain because it's going to be raining goddamn cicadas and dragonflies. <sighs> she should be going to the goddamn gas station to wipe the bugs off. You won't even need gas. Now who the hell's this? People will come, right? God! Ha! Ah. People will come, right? The one constant throughout all the damn times. Trust me, it's been baseball. <sighs> this game. This field. I missed a line, damn it. It's been baseball. But baseball's marked the time. But baseball's marked the time, Ray. This field, this game, I think I got poison oak. I'm itching all over the place. It reminds us of our past. It reminds us of our past. That ain't the right line. This field, this game is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good. It could be again. Oh, people will come, Ray. People will come, Ray. Oh, po po shit. People will come, Ray. People will most definitely come. But trust me, uh, just in case if all the other endings came out kind of shitty, we get this one out there. Uh, people will come, Ray. Uh, people most definitely come here. Probably piss all over your lawn, like I said. All right, I'm out of here. I gotta get some icy hot on my neck. 140 bucks, nothing less. I already got Daniel out there weed whacking a spot from a camper ray. Like I said, we'll work out the terms on that security contract. I mean, I'm I'm easy going. I go 13 between 13 and 22 an hour. Uh, I have experience. Um, I, I I I ran night shift at uh, Kenny Brook uh, trailer park back in the day. Um, when we was playing manhunt, uh, I go do the clean sweep. Uh, I was talking about when I was 13, 14 years old, make sure no one was left behind. So I got some experience there. Um, but I got some buddies um, that could, you know, cone some areas off uh, for some parking. Um, like I said I get Dan out here with the weed whacker, clear out some spots. Uh, we gotta figure out some, a way to get some more of that well water out here. And the goddamn tractor trailers, we gotta get another road, like a service road, to work them out <sighs> west. Send them up to uh, Mexico. Just out of, out of here, because all that noise, it's not gonna be good during the game, you know? You don't want all that. Especially, you know, I mean, some of them players are Hall of Famers. Uh, you gonna kill my lotion? I mean, God damn it! I'm starting to look like a polka dotted hot dog. I mean, I have no black in my own three days, really. 
Ray. Hey, Ray. Ray. Hey, I gotta, hey, Ray, do you ever, hey, Ray, you ever wonder, um, like if life, uh, like if we kind of each have an individual destiny, uh, or if we're all just, I don't know, floating around accidental like on the breeze, um, what you think, Ray? You think it could be both? Like maybe both is happening at the same time? Oh shit, we got people coming, Ray. I see headlights. Oh shit. Where's the grill? Ray. <laughs> Let's get a little loose with this one. Ray. <laughs> now nah, look, trust me, you don't promise. You even spell it right. Uh, all right. Don't make yourself laugh. Ray. People will come, Ray. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. I can't even see my Ray. Ray's gone. People will come, Ray. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll pull into your... All right, let's see here. We got one, two, three, four little squirts. Utah feller and your girl. So that's one, six, six. Plus you got the parking spot. So you got six waters there. Grabbed them on your way in. Congratulations. That's complimentary. Up into a certain point, but you passed that line there. Uh, and you're still drinking them. So we're going to have to charge you for those. Light charge. Um, Y'all going to be drinking any seltzers tonight? Um, we'll give you wristbands for that. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're looking at about, well, we'll round it up to 950. Change? Oh, dang, shoot, no, I ain't got no change. Uh, listen here, then. Um, psh, looks like maybe you can work something out. Maybe round back up, then, to, uh... And I see during seventh inning stretch, I have, uh, that feller, tall feller there, Andrew Doubleday, he come around with an extra bag of biscuits for y'all. How that sound? <laughs>